हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वन प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू ओवरलैप सेव मेथड राइट सो दोज आर नॉट सीन दैट प्रॉब्लम प्लीज आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू आर टू प्लीज सी दैट प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम एंड अ श्योर क्वेश्चन एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड यू वुड बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट इन अ वेरी इजी मैनर सो In this session, we are going to solve one more kind of problem of overlap save, and we are going to wind this session. So only one problem in this session. So hardly I would be taking around twelve to thirteen minutes. Okay, not more than that. So please stay till the end. Watch the full video if you want to understand this problem very well. So please stay till the end and watch this full video, guys. So now let's start with the problem. The second question is: Consider an FIR filter. With the H of n is equal to the impulse response is given as three two one one. If input is that is the input sequence x of n is given as one two three three two one minus one minus two minus three five six minus one two zero two one. So this is one long sequence. Okay, uh, uh, don't uh, try to uh, start panicking by seeing this non-long sequence because the method is very simple of solving it. I already told you in my previous session also. Yeah. So now, for we should be finding the output y of n using overlap save method, and they they have given to consider the block length to be equal to nine in this case. Okay. Consider block length is equal to line nine. Okay. So without wasting any time, let's solve this problem. First, I told you right. You should be remembering the formula L is equal to L one plus L two minus one, where we need to find the intermediate sequence L one. Where the block length l is given here, that is nine. So substitute that. Nine is equal to l one plus this l two is the uh, length of the uh, impulse uh, impulse response sequence h of n. That is three two one one. So length of the sequence is four minus one. So nine is equal to l one plus four minus one is three. So nine. My if we bring this three to other side, it will be minus three. Nine minus three is six. So our l one intermediate sequence should be six. Okay, it means that from this input we should be taking the six values. So our first x one of n, it should be considering our block length to be nine. So it should be having nine values here. But we are intermediate sequence; they have taken it as six. So three values we need to be saving here. Okay, that is first three zeros we should be adding. Then after that six values we should be taking from this sequence. That is one, two, three, three. Two, one. Hope this is clear. This is for x one of n. Now for x two of n, again the last three values of the first sequence you should be writing first. That is three, two, one. After that, next six values from the input sequence. That is minus one, minus two, minus three, five, six, minus one. Right? Yeah. Check, cross check the values again because uh, if one also one value also if it becomes wrong by if you change the sign the whole sum the problem would be changing. This you should be doing until we get the complete sequence of zeros. Okay. Next again the last three values write it first five six minus one. Then the next six values that is two zero two one. Then we don't have any other values so consider zeros. So two zero two. One, then two zeros, then x four of n. Again, last three values, one zero zero, followed by six zeros, right? Now, if we try to write the next sequence, x five of n, we would be getting a complete sequence of zeros, right? So stop, stop till here only. So here we got four sequences: x one of n, x two of n, x three of n, x four of n. Similarly, now we write the uh, impulse response sequence H of n, where the block length should be nine. So here we have already four points here. Then we should be adding five zeros, two, one, one, followed by five zeros. Okay. So this is our H of n sequence. So now next step, what I have told you, we should be finding the values of y one of n, y two of n, y three of n, y four of n, circular convolution with. H of n, right? That is x one of n, n h of n, right? So what is the x one of n sequence? Write that zero 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 one two three three two one zero 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 
So those who don't know circular convolution, you are, I've told already how to do this in my previous videos, you can check it out. 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Then like this only we should be writing 4 times because we have 4 values here followed by 5 zeros. So no need to write complete 9 times, If it's enough if we write 4 times, okay. 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. into 3, 2, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay, hope you know this, now you should be doing the matrix multiplication, zero plus 2 plus 2 plus 3, that is 2 plus 2 plus 3 is 7, then we have 0, 0, 1, 2 that is 2 plus 1 3 0 0 0 1 1 3 is a 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 so 3 6 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 6 plus 2 is 8 9 plus 4 plus 1 plus 0 that is 9 plus 4 13 plus 1 14 9 plus 6 plus 2 plus 1 9 plus 6 15 plus 2 17 plus 1 is 18 6 plus 6 plus 3 plus 2 6 plus 6 plus 3 plus 2 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 3 15 plus 2 17 then we have 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3. 3, 3, 3, 9 plus 4, 13. Okay, so this is our y1 of n. Okay, similarly find y2 of n, y3 of n, y4 of n. Okay. So now let's solve for y2 of n. The x2 of n sequence is 3, 2, 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 5, 6. Last value is minus 1 again this we should be rotating it 4 times okay same as last time only 3 2 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 5 6 minus 1 so this is one matrix Next is 3, 2, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, let's find the answer later. Now let's write the sequence of y3 of n and y4 of n. Okay. Then at last let's find the answers. So now let's write uh, x3 of n. 5, 6, minus 1, 2, 0, 2, 1, 0. 0 5 6 minus 1 2 0 2 1 0 0 this also 4 times you should be writing Three, two, one, one, zero, 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 zero. 0 ok let's try it, uh, find the answer later similarly write the sequence of uh, x4 of n with uh, h of n x4 of, x4 of n sequence is 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 right Write it four times. Along with h of n, three, two, one, one, you should be quick while writing these steps. Okay. Yeah. So now let's find the answers of all of this. First, let us find the y two of n. Three three is a nine 
माइनस टू प्लस सिक्स प्लस फाइव नाइन माइनस टू सेवन प्लस सिक्स थर्टीन प्लस फाइव एटीन सो कमेंट डाउन इफ आई एम गेटिंग रॉन्ग हियर ओके इन दी स्टेप्स सिक्स प्लस सिक्स माइनस वन प्लस सिक्स दैट इज एटीन माइनस वन सेवेंटीन थ्री प्लस फोर प्लस थ्री माइनस वन थ्री प्लस फोर सेवन प्लस थ्री टेन माइनस वन नाइन माइनस थ्री प्लस टू प्लस टू प्लस थ्री दैट इज टू प्लस टू फोर प्लस थ्री सेवन माइनस थ्री इज फोर माइनस सिक्स माइनस टू प्लस वन प्लस टू माइनस सिक्स माइनस टू माइनस एट प्लस वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री माइनस एट प्लस थ्री माइनस फाइव देन वी हैव माइनस नाइन माइनस फोर माइनस वन प्लस वन माइनस नाइन माइनस फोर माइनस वन दैट इज माइनस फोर्टीन प्लस वन माइनस थर्टीन फिफ्टीन माइनस सिक्स माइनस टू माइनस वन फिफ्टीन माइनस सिक्स नाइन माइनस टू सेवन माइनस वन सिक्स 18 प्लस टेन माइनस थ्री माइनस टू एटीन प्लस टेन ट्वेंटी एट माइनस थ्री माइनस टू माइनस फाइव ट्वेंटी एट माइनस फाइव ट्वेंटी थ्री देन माइनस थ्री प्लस ट्वेल्व प्लस फाइव माइनस थ्री माइनस थ्री माइनस थ्री माइनस सिक्स ट्वेल्व प्लस फाइव सेवेंटीन माइनस सिक्स इलेवन सो दीज आर द वैल्यूज ऑफ वाई टू ऑफ एन so similarly find y3 of n and y4 of n okay that is 15 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 that is 16 18 plus 10 plus 0 plus 0 that is 28 minus 3 plus 12 plus 5 plus 0 that is 17 minus 1 16 again Sorry, seventeen minus three, right? So here three we have seventeen minus three is fourteen. Okay. Six minus two plus six plus five. That is six plus six twelve plus five seventeen minus one sixteen. Zero plus four minus two plus six. Zero plus four minus two two plus six eight. Six plus zero plus two minus one eight minus one seven. Three plus four plus zero plus two that is nine. Zero two two zero that is four. Zero zero one two three. So these are the values of y3 of n. Okay, cross check it. So now find the values of y4 of n. Three ones are three followed by zero, all multiplied by zero. So three zero two zero zero. So two zero zero one zero one zero 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 one. Then all of them are zeros. so this is the final sequence of y4 of n so now next step is you should be writing all the sequences again y1 of n y2 of n y3 of n y4 of n then all the cancel all the saved values and then write the final sequence okay hope you might be knowing this so now let's write that yeah so i have written all the four sequences again whatever answers you have got so now we should be getting our final sequence of y of n right y of n final sequence has to be written now here So now for that, the steps uh, I have already told you in the previous sum. That is how many values we have saved. That many values at the starting we need to cancel. So in this problem, how many values we have saved? First three zeros we have added, and along with that three values we have taken to the next set of sequences to write for x two of n, three of n, and four of n. So now that's why from uh, all these four sequences, the first three values would be neglected. Okay. Along with the all the zeros. Now, rest of all the values you should be writing 
according to the sequence that is y1 of n y2 of n y3 of n y4 of n you should be writing in the sequence okay so here uh, while writing i made a mistake so that's why i have written y2 of n here and 3 y3 of n here okay so note that correctly so first value is 3 8 14 18 19 13 the next value is 4 minus 5 minus 13 6 23 11 16 8 7 9 4 3 3 then here we have one so this is the final sequence y of n okay so here the length of the sequence in order to check the length how what i have told l is equal to l1 plus l2 minus 1 where l we should be finding l1 is the length of the first sequence input sequence here that is 6 6 and 4 that is 16 plus length of second sequence is 4 here minus 1 so 20 16 plus 4 20 minus 1 is 19 so length of the sequence should be 19 let us check whether it is 19 or not 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 19 19 19 19 so it is satisfied so this is the answer like this you should be solving for overlap same so that's all for this session guys uh, we have solved uh, two problems in two sessions for overlap same in order to make you understand about this uh, method this is very easy guys this method so hope you understood this method like this you should be solving So now in the next session we are going to discuss with one more method that is overlap add okay that is still more easier than overlap save but a slight changes in the last steps here okay that i'm going to tell you how uh, still uh, very very easy guys so let's uh, see that uh, topic in the next session so that's all for this uh, video like this video guys share this video to a huge number and uh, stay updated to our channel and uh, please watch our videos of digital signal processing so that's all guys thank you